so the kind of customers we have are uh, in, in uh, any kind of, of uh, um, economic sector from uh, transportation to uh, manufacturing from uh, food uh, uh, to uh, uh, services any kind these these are a few big names okay let's start with what is the uh, the heart of our um, presentation today uh, if PowerPoint wants to work, which is not the case, okay, let me just restart that. Okay, so some of the uh, documents that are uh, that, that are useful as a bundle, as a group of documents. Um, I, I have just quoted several ones. The um, the idea behind that was that uh, an ERP is conceived to per function or uh, per process, but uh, it's different difficult to have both at the same time, and uh, therefore the uh, the documents which are linked to transactions are, are produced um, one by one without any link to other documents uh, that could be in, a, in the same process or whether those documents come from the ERP itself or from other applications. Uh, but for business needs sometimes you need to to reorganize those documents in documents in bundles uh, to, to sort them to merge them and that's the kind of, um, of things that we will sh show you today to show you how to improve the productivity uh, of your processes uh, through um, of the, your document processes let's say okay these are just a few examples um, in terms of account receivables for example um, if you want to prove that uh, you have uh, when you send an invoice if you want to prove that the invoice is linked to an order that was signed uh, um, by, by the, the customer and that the, um, uh, uh, the, the goods were delivered then it's good to gather all those documents into one or into a bundle so that's uh, one of the examples we, I, I will show you. Um, same for the, the Dunning letters, the reminder letters. If you have um, uh, invoices that are late, the payment is late, um, then in that case uh, the fact that you uh, send a reminder letter with the invoice included in, in the reminder letter is proves that it's it proves the efficiency of the of the process. Um, in terms of export too, that's um, another area. Uh, obviously, the ERP can create some documents, but also uh, other speci specific applications can create documents for customs, like um, uh, and uh, labs or um, you need um, documents that come from outside from labs like uh, the ones you have for certificates of origin that kind of things or um, um, export declaration and uh, um, reporting of um, exchanges of goods for example in terms of security in, in the pharmaceutical industry, for example, the chemical industry, you need, you need to uh, respect rules and regulations and, and the quality, um, uh, quality rules, quality norms. In, in that area, it's very important to link, for example, the, the delivery uh, uh, orders with, uh, let's say, toxic products information or information for the user of, the, of the, the, the product or traceability, that kind of things. And um, let me just, uh, I still have my, my problem with, uh, with PowerPoint, so let's 
stop and restart. And the, the last point I had was on the production side. Uh, production orders can come from the ERP. Can, they, they can also be linked to work orders. So, uh, and the fact that you can uh, create a bundle with all with those both those documents can improve the, the productivity of your company, obviously. Okay. Let's let me show you three different cases, the architecture of different cases, and then uh, we'll start the demo as such. Uh, first case is um, a case where you have your ERP which provides you with purchase orders, POs, uh, that you send to the, your vendors. Obviously, um, your purchase, purchase orders are, are created one by one. And um, at the end of the day, you want to gather all that and uh, because you want to send a letter with all your purchase orders. Um, and uh, for example, you can sort them per city rather than per, per vendor, group them and, and, uh, and send the, the whole lot, the, the whole set of, of documents. This is, for example, to, um, uh, for, um, to automate the process of sending purchase orders and uh, to dematerialize the, the process. That will be a, a real life example with SAP documents that I will show you. We'll, uh, so we'll uh, first uh, create the, the redesign the documents from, uh, from SAP with one of our complex modules and then just print a letter and we'll see that it is it will be automatically emailed um, in a PDF grouping all the, the documents. Second case, which is uh, in the accounts receivable areas, that's what I uh, showed you just uh, before that. We'll have um, we have all those. Um, uh, invoices that are outstanding. Uh, we have one customer which uh, who doesn't pay the, those invoices. So we will send a reminder letter with the list of the different uh, uh, um, invoices. And as the number of the invoice is indicated in the letter, it will automatically search for those invoices and merge the do document with the letter before sending it by, by email. That's the second case that's for uh, to, to recover money more quickly. And the th third case will be also a real life example. Um, this is the, the story of a company which distributes um, fresh food uh, to restaurants and bars and uh, to uh, schools, hospitals, that kind of things. And that company was, uh, the, the, the documents are very important because during the, the night, um, invoices, delivery notes and delivery lists uh, are sent by the, are created by the ERP uh, in a different batch, each in a different batch. Um, and the idea was to merge them and print them per customer, so merge uh, per, per customer, so that the, um, the truck drivers could take the whole set of the documents and uh, not be uh, and uh, avoid uh, the the, uh, the tedious uh, work of re uh, of manually uh, taking the documents and uh, sorting them. So um, once again, we'll. Uh, take the, those documents, improve them with images, with barcodes, sort per customer, and then print them directly. Okay, so um, we'll start the, the demo now. Let me just try and um, 
show you the, the first case. So remember the first case was purchase orders uh, that are um, coming from the ERP, specifically from, uh, from uh, SAP. So the first, um, first step will be to create, to redesign the documents uh, through one of the uh, uh, modules uh, of our uh, Complete Suite. That uh, module is called Complete Layout. And um, you first um, connect to, let's say, your iSeries or your, your SAP um, system. And then you have a, an original view and a final view which shows you uh, the document once it has been improved by uh, uh, by complaint layout but the the purpose of of my speech today was it will be on the process management rather than on the the, the improvement in terms of design so i'll i'll just take um, from uh, a, a, just a whole set of of spools there and I just run the template to create those do documents. So that's uh, how the normally the, that's that would be done automatically uh, when the ERP creates the purchase orders. But let's let's um, do it manually. And then just for for the purpose for the sake of the uh, of the example. And then. What I will show you is um, um, how we, we uh, do the process management in um, with Complete Supervisor, which is there. So we have one scenario there, which is uh, for the uh, purchase orders that we have created. And that scenario, um, is waiting for several files to to um, uh, to group them, and uh, the the element that will uh, start the process will will be that the document type is a letter, and then we will com concatenate the document in uh, uh, a file which is called purchase orders, and send it by email so we'll send an email from demo user to demo user with a small small text please find your document attached that's how we'll do that with complete um, supervisor so let me just show you um, start with with the letter so our uh, our letter will be a very simple letter like that one. Recent tracks confirm that we're ready uh, to purchase. Purchase, and uh, we'll just print the document. For that, we'll use uh, an XPS printer, which is one of the uh, possibilities we have. Obviously, we can really print the, the document, but we also we we can also um, um, use a virtual printer like that one and print the document. What will happen is that in the processes there uh, in um, Complex Supervisor you, you will have the documents which will um, uh, let me just show you the, the good ones like uh, the, these ones. It is starting to to be processed and then as I showed you that will end up with a message here it is uh, so this is a, an email that is sent and we'll find purchase orders there if I open up the, the purchase order I have 19 pages let me just show you is the letter there yes the letter is there the last page and then I have all my purchase orders that are merged into one uh, one single document that is sent by email 
And that was the, the purpose of my of uh, of my, my process management with uh, with complex supervisor. So this is um, uh, the, the first example. The, the aim of that was was to automatically just by printing a document, just by printing the, the document through a virtual printer, the letter, then adding all the purchase orders that were already created by, by uh, the ERP and were um, kind of on hold. Um, and uh, those documents then are, are linked to, a, to a, an email. That All that is, is automatic. Okay, let me just um, show you the, the second um, example, which is um, uh, the reminder letter. So in that case, I have so I, I have a, uh, another uh, case there, which is the reminder letter. Here in Complete Supervisor, I can create scenarios. So uh, uh, I showed you Complete Layout, which is a, a module which a creation module, a, crea a module that allows to create a, a new layouts. In, uh, in uh, the second case, I will use uh, Compleo Explorer, which is another module, and um, I, I will um, use that to um, uh, create a letter. The, the example is in French. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but this this is a real-life example, so I reused uh, the, uh, the example. So, is it, here is the, the letter. You have a uh, um, the, the wording uh, reminder letter, which is there. You also have different variables that, that have been created, uh, like the invoice numbers, which are there, and which will be used to take those, those different um, invoices from a, um, a specific folder where, where they, they are waiting for the time being, and merge th the, those documents with the uh, with the letter itself. So um, uh, let me just show you where um, I have my invoices. The invoices are there, so they, they are from 0 to uh, 5534. And as you may see there, we have just four different uh, um, invoices that have been listed in uh, in um, in our letter. The letter is a PDF, actually. I can show you the, the PDF. Um, let me just show you the, the PDF. So it, it's, it, could be, it could be created, it has been created by, uh, with uh, Word, for example. And uh, so that's the real uh, letter. So, uh, and you have four different uh, invoices there with the, their numbers. So the aim is to go and find those different uh, invoices and link them to, to the reminder letter to tell the, the customer, please, Mr. Customer, um, uh, pay us as soon as possible because we, you, you're late. And obviously, obviously the, the fact that you add the invoice to, to the letter is um, a, a, a strong incentive for the customer to pay for, for that. So let me just... Um, show you that um, you know I have that, that uh, letter that uh, and, uh, we have created that you know, the, the letter is, is there and um, we will uh, I will just uh, launch the, the, uh, the process the run mode and um, uh, the, the, to launch the run mode I just take the letter and put it in a specific folder which is called supervision there Okay, so let me just take that one, or as it is already copied, I, I, I'll take the, the document. Let me just change the properties there, as if it, I had copy-pasted the document. So I take the properties and I do that. Here we are, and the we'll have the result which uh, will end up in uh, uh, the result of the process will be that the reminder letter will be 
also um, concatenated with the uh, with the invoices and sent by email. So that should be that should be done. Let me just check in the compliance supervisor which automates the processes if um, we have those documents. Um, so this this is currently uh, uh, processing. I think we'll uh, let me just check if in the uh, in in the, the mailbox I have received something. No, it's not the case. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, let, let me just try and, and uh, suppress that, if I can, no. So I'll try and relaunch the, the process as if I had made a copy-paste. Um, okay, this is obviously blocked somewhere. I had done that, uh, that's, that's the uh, demo effect, I had done that just before uh, launch time to check if, if it was okay and I had received that that uh, document dunning letter, reminder letter, that was at 11.39, you see that? So it's not right now, but um, so no way I, I cannot show you, to you something. Oh, there we are. It took time, but it, it has arrived. Okay. So here is our dunning letter. And it has taken, I didn't show you that, but it has taken the, uh, the, the number of, of the, the letter itself. And we'll have the document, which is the letter and the different invoices there. So 5291, which I think has two pages. Yes, we have two, two pages. And then 5330, okay, two pages too, 4577, and so on and so forth. So let me just take the letter and check that. So 5291, 5330 and 5477. That, that was, these were the different uh, invoices that I, I needed. And, and uh, in fact, I have uh, eight pages uh, coming from the invoices that are, have been added to my, my letter, not more than those ones and have been sent by email. Okay, so this this was okay. That we I received two as I relaunched the uh, the, the document. So it's uh, with a, uh, a process a manual process which is as simple as copy pasting a document or just creating a document in a specific folder. Uh, I have managed to to launch uh, an email and uh, um, concatenate the, the, the invoices with the, with the letter. Um, the third example I want to show you is also a real life example and um, the, um, uh, the process will gather invoices, delivery orders and delivery list within one single document and print the, that, that document for the uh, for the, 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 the truck drivers to to come to the uh, uh, to uh, for the delivery uh, routes the delivery rounds okay let me just um, uh, start with once again uh, complete layout in that case um, I'll go and connect to um, uh, one i series so it's um, 
um, let's say uh, on your PMI BM world, I have three documents that are um, the, 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 the three spools from my ERP. The first one is a um, is a, an invoice. Uh, the second one is uh, it's difficult to read just because I have used one of my uh, let me just use that one. Okay, that's that's better. So um, the original view is there. It's it's also in French, but Maybe you can see that it's the order form. And the third one is an order list which is given by, by the, the, um, uh, the guy in, uh, who's in charge of the delivery uh, just to, to tell to the, the customer, to let the customer say, okay, that was delivered, that was taken away, and uh, if there, uh, if something is broken down, or if there's uh, anything wrong, I can put it down there. So that's a, a, a third document. Normally, those three documents are created in three different jobs in the uh, I series. And normally, during the night before the delivery starts, uh, the lorry drivers uh, take. The, the different documents from, from the, the printers um, and they sort them manually, which is pretty tedious, which also can create uh, mistakes because for one single uh, customer you can have uh, several invoices, sometimes no invoice, several um, delivery orders, sometimes just one, and that's, um, so it's, that's was pretty difficult to, to handle before we, we did that, that um, development with the complaint suite. And um, the result, I'll show you the, the result there. So um, let me just uh, take those three um, spools which are on hold. Let me release them. So they're released. And in complaint supervisor, once again, which has the um, uh, automation part there. Well, let me just okay, let me just show you the uh, uh, how it works. So the, the documents there. Uh, are waiting for the last document, which is the one called Recepice, which is the, the, uh, the delivery list, and then it's concatenated um, and takes the name of the client. That's the, the thing. And I have I find them in a, a folder which is called Result. So let me just show you in the result. Part. So it's it's these are documents that were created at uh, three uh, three minutes after three. So uh, this is right now. So uh, no no kidding, no cheating. And there we are. We have that um, delivery list there. And on the delivery list, the the link between the delivery list and uh, the invoices or the uh, the delivery orders is there. When you have invoices, the, the invoice number are, are put there. When you have delivery orders, the delivery order number is also put there. You have so you should we should have two different uh, invoices and, and three delivery orders there. So here, here we are with one of the, of the delivery orders, the second one, the third one, and that's it. And that will be for all the, the different uh, customer numbers that we have, those different elements. Another point that I didn't show you, um, we, uh, we have focused there on printing 
sending by email or putting documents in, in uh, different files. But there are, there's also a possibility uh, with Compare Suite to um, collect documents like those ones, like the ones that I have created with, with the purchase orders to, to automatically send them. Let me just show you the um, uh, the the, uh, the example that I used. The first example that I used with the uh, if you remember well, this was the, the purchase orders that I had improved, and all those pur purchase orders were sent to a process queue. So that's the, what we we saw in uh, Compare Suite. And uh, well, I have at the very same time uh, added uh, another run mode, which is active there, which is uh, save a copy in the Compare Archive. Just to give you a flavor of the different uh, modules of our suite, I wanted to show you Compare Archive just for, for a, a minute. So this is where uh, we archive and uh, search for documents. If, if um, for, for our customers who want that, that kind of module. So let me just um, uh, search for a specific document. Obviously, there was timeout, so I had to log in. The, I, am, I am in, in a web environment, of, obviously, and I'm searching for our purchase orders in SAP and um, if I just um, check the, the archiving date you will see that all my purchase orders that I sent uh, that I concatenated by email that I sent in, in the process are there I can search them by vendor name or by uh, uh, PO number this is the uh, the area where I can select something like let's say CME uh, or there and you just show me that I can search for documents like that oh, that didn't work okay that's not a client it's the vendor name there so I can select CB New York and, and uh, the document is there I can see the document, resend the document, that's a way to avoid uh, uh, manual uh, search and uh, paper archives, that kind of things. So uh, that's also a very powerful tool which is, um, which is um, where the, the, the documents are uploaded uh, through a process in, uh, in uh, Compleo Layout. Let me show you that. I have one process there and I take the properties of, that I've um, uh, created in Compleo Archiver in the search um, search uh, area and I, I link them to the different uh, variables, values that I've created on the document which are the red elements that you have there like for example the city which is there. Okay. So this was just to give you a flavor of what we can do with such a, uh, a tool uh, as a, a Compleo Suite in order to um, create, uh, to manage the processes uh, of uh, the document processes uh, Obviously, what we um, propose is a tool, so the, the limit is your imagination um, and the, uh, the possibilities in terms of layout, of design improvement, in terms of distribution, in terms of uh, process management are infinite. Um, just to, to let you know, um, which uh, modules we use today and just
this is frozen once again. So let me just end, end up and restart my, my PowerPoint. Go back to the point where we were. Here we are. So uh, you have complete suite which includes uh, seven or eight different modules. I very briefly showed you Complete Explorer. That was to um, spot uh, the uh, reminder letter and uh, add the other document to, to the Complete Explorer. Complete your layout to improve the documents um, and create a, a good looking, a nice, nice looking document with barcodes if you want to, with the colors, things like that. Complete your supervisor which automates and creates um, uh, the processes and manages also the prints, the printers. Um, but I didn't show you Complete your designer which uh, can uh, start with XML uh, doc, uh, type of uh, files to create the graphical documents, the, the little sister of a complete layout, let's say, or complete for XML which switches from documents, pools, normally documents which should be printed to XML files for transfer from one application to, to another. I also showed you complete archiver which can be also um, uh, link to a complete reviewer to uh, create document workflows where you can, for, for a given uh, rule, uh, say, okay, when the, the amount of, uh, let's say, a purchase order is higher than 1,000 euros, then you need the, the agreement of uh, someone or you, you so the, the, let's say, for, uh, the, the agreement of the purchase manager, so the document should go through a specific process, that kind of things. Okay. Um, what are the main benefits of, of the, the, uh, uh, the fact that you automate the processes, the document processes? Obviously, you save time because everything is done automatically rather than um, interactively uh, through um, uh, typing on your keyboard. It also avoids manual tasks like sorting documents, as I said to you, uh, manually. So it avoids the manual tasks, it saves money, and, and uh, it avoids mistakes. Um, we had an example which um, showed how to link uh, the invoices to the reminder letter. So uh, in order to decrease the payment period, so that's also a matter of, of money. And as you optimize your processes, you can so also save, save money in terms of, uh, of um, uh, human resources costs and that kind of things. Um, uh, Syntrax is a software editor, but we don't leave you uh, alone in, if you have to uh, go through a process of uh, document management or output document uh, output management. Uh, we can help you through, through uh, different kind of service from the, the basic knowledge transfer to you know, studying and, uh, and analyzing the, uh, your situation and trying to find the best fit between the different modules, uh, between your needs, uh, the processes you want to to, to put and uh, obviously uh, this uh, the, the fact that our consultants have a huge experience through a, a wide variety of, of customers is very important and those um, different uh, type of service can also be, be provided through our resellers uh, we have um, uh, numerous resellers in different countries in uh, Morocco Italy Spain, Germany, and so on. So that uh, if you are coming from those countries, you will certainly find someone near your place and knowing our, our, our products and being able to, to provide you with, uh, with
the systems. It can be on site, it could it can be also online if you want to. That's also a possibility. Um, and that's um, that's about it for, for today. Let me just um, sorry about that. Still still difficult with that. With PowerPoint, I think it's uh, much easier to use our our, our software than, than than PowerPoint. If you have questions, you can ask questions on on the uh, on um, the, the the panel, which is uh, uh, near the uh, the go to webinar. Part. So feel free, we still have time for that. Okay, I have one question on how did you create the layout for the, the purchase orders, for example. So let me show you that. So this is the original view and the final view is something much nicer with uh, also with uh, Syntrax logo, which is there, which is not included there, but which will be included at the time where you create the document. But it's very simple. For example, if you want to include, let's say, a, a, um, a barcode, th these, for example, are erasing zones. So that, that was erased. All the objects, even partially inside, so even that, that black thing there, do not appear on the uh, the final view, and if you, for example, you want to create a barcode or a, a, a table, a line, a rectangle, that kind of things, it's, it's it could be done just very uh, in a straightforward uh, way. Let's let's do it with a two by five interleaved, for example, and just create that. There. So let me just uh, show you that on the final view. It's better on the final view, of course. And so I can create the uh, the barcode there, and I can choose the text of the barcode, but I can also use the variables that I have created on, on the document, which are I will show you later on the red parts, like purchase order number, for example, and this, just take for example the barcode. There, there we are. So this this is a uh, how we can create a, a barcode very very easily. You can resize the the barcode as you want, or put it where you want. So uh, it's just a, a wizzy wig type of of, uh, of thing. Let me just go back to the questions. Uh, apparently, there's no no more questions. So uh, I just thank you for that. You can test our solution by downloading it in your uh, own environment. So um, it's, it takes, let's say, between five and ten minutes to, to, to in install. It's, it's free. You have a free trial for, for 15 days. So, and, and we are there to, to help you during your, uh, the, the installation phase. So uh, do not hesitate. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And uh, uh, we will send you a, a, a link to the, um, to the recording of the of the webinar if you want to. Um, we'll do that uh, in, a, in a few days' time, just time to recreate the, the video. Okay, thanks very much again for your attention and have a nice day. Bye.